Oh look, there's just a camera sitting here. So I'm trying to do a vlog with some structure in it. Kind of feel like a douche setting cameras up here, walking back there, then walking back. But hey, that's how Casey Neistat does it, and he's the best. So we'll give it a shot. Okay. Hey. Come. Alright, we're back from pooping the dog. Let's go through some comments briefly. Vino Vino, thanks. You're welcome. Ryan Heath, did heal effect did heal assist heal assist have any effect on you uh when you first started driving? No, uh not really. The nice thing is you can turn it on or off, and that's that's just what I replied to this comment, but no, no effect. Nice car. Carmax makes money because they sell, yep, they do. Is it too oh that's what he asked. Is it too loud to drive through the neighborhood? He's talking about my exhaust. Uh the answer is no, uh, as long as you're not driving like a total asshole, you'll be you'll be fine. Handsome, that's from the 308. I don't know if that's about me or the car. Michael, not interesting. This is funny. Nothing amazing for the money. There's plenty of products cheaper with the same results, if not better. Sunglasses, peace out. Too cool for this video. Great video, well done. Keep them coming. I will keep them coming. The ST is the American GTI, I agree. So happy for this to be my first car. Talking about the Mustang Mach 1. That's a pretty sweet first car. This is a good one here for a conversation. Um, after seeing the markup on the Civic Type R, do you still agree what you said in this video? Um, I think I said something like the Civic Type R is going to be the ultimate front wheel drive hot hatch. Um, but he's talking about the markup, which I've seen uh, about $55,000. The markup I don't think is something you consider be, should consider because that goes away. And if you talk with the right person at the dealership, you should be able to get that removed. So I wouldn't worry about the markup too much. It sucks you have to deal with that. Um, but I still think it's a great value for what it costs, and it's just an incredible uh, performance machine. Now, this is a good question for everyone maybe to take a look at. Is there any possibility of an exhaust system making the car go, go lean from lack of back pressure? Um, my friend TJ, uh, he put, he had, he had his ST straight piped, and he actually lost back pressure from doing that, so he put a different exhaust on it to get it back. It's kind of like that surge you get when you go into boost. He was losing that. So, so yes, that is possible. Um, it could be the root cause for your engine grenading, but I don't know a ton about that, so maybe someone else who sees this will. All it needs is a limited slip differential, better responding window switches, and more comfortable Recaros. I totally agree. Your girl wants to ride in a grown man's car, not some trashy domestic pocket rocket. I think I know what she wants to ride. Aaron F for fuckboy. Thanks for your review. You're welcome. Sewed clickbait. Go to hell. <laughs> a focus screen is better. It is. Oh, well, torque steer guy likes it. Makes a better driving experience. I don't think torque steer makes for a better driving experience, but you know. Alright, that's good for the comments for now. So plans for today. I need to get a haircut because I have a lot of hair right now. The other thing I'm gonna do is get this taken care of. Because I pretty much have no separation in the unibrow department. I'm going to get it waxed. Maybe we'll shape it. High arches. Um, a little eyeshadow. Or get it real looking good for the camera. Get that shaped up. I need to get another, I think, SD card from Best Buy or something like that. Do some drone shots. And uh, I might go visit my friend Colin uh, out in Latrobe. Uh, I think he, he has a WRX and a Mustang. So we're going to take a look at both of those, kind of see where the day takes us, and I'll try to do a little better job planning out the vlog. We'll see how that works. How's it look? So mission one complete, eyebrows separated, slight uh, trimmed around the side, so it, uh, I look much more presentable now. I don't look like a total animal. Going to go get my hair cut now. Let's see what that looks like. All right, hair's all cut up. I think it looks pretty good. Anytime I come out of a haircut, though, I always have to take my shirt off and just shake off. Mission accomplished. Let's roll. Uh, yeah, shorty caking up. You know how to do it. Making paper spinning racks. Know you going through it. It's time to celebrate, we ain't trying to wait, it's time to switch up the scene. So what I 
moved out to Arizona, one of the reasons I moved was because the weather was so bad here. In the summer it rains and it's humid, in the winter it snows and it's cold all the time. Uh, but being in Arizona where you're spoiled with sunshine and great weather all the time, it's actually nice to come back and enjoy the rain uh, and it's not ruining your, your weekends all the time. One of the nice things about having nice weather like Arizona is you never feel like you're rushed to get activities in. Like in the summer you might rush after work to play golf or go to the lake or go fishing or go and do an outdoor activity. But whereas in Arizona you know you're going to have that weather year round so you're not as rushed to do something like that. Whereas here you have to get it all in in the summer otherwise the winter it's just a no-go. So it's nice to be able to enjoy the rain. Play with fate, this shit is everlasting Fuck around and try to discover your true passion Yo, you stupid, I see you waiting and hesitating Gotta recognize what you prophesied Forever faking oh, yeah, oh, yeah. If I survive another day Let's get high and smoke it all away If I survive another day Let's get high my car collection currently in my room. These are model cars that I collected when I was just a kid. And something I found very interesting that I think all of you would also find interesting is someone in this our high school golf team. Does anyone remember that YouTuber right there? That's Robert Himmler. And I'm sure you have all seen his twin turbo Gallardo videos. Um, him scaring his mom driving his Gallardo, it was on the front page of AOL.com for a couple days, has over 10 million hits I think at this point. Uh, he's Unfortunately he passed away, but I went to high school with him, he was a year older than me. Um, and I always, He always had the most advanced uh, camera equipment, um, and I always liked the idea of making a video, but I never had a camera. When, once I understood that he could make money on YouTube and all this stuff, that's kind of what interested me in getting a camera, starting to post videos and see what happens. Um, not even near the success that he's had and also not nearly as controversial for a lot of reasons but I uh, thought a lot of you would think that's pretty cool. I think this GTR is probably my favorite of the ones I've collected. I've got a Porsche Cayenne here and I also have the Ultimate. Oh, look at that booty. There's me throwing out the first pitch at a Pirates game. Funny thing is I still have that Pirates shirt and I still wear it. And here's me in the McDonald's All-American High School dunk contest. That was pretty cool. On to the next thing. Yeah, it's time to switch up on the game mode. I think I'll find a couple cheat codes I'm taking anybody on, bro, you weak though Don't bring your girl around me cause she end up in my sheets, yo <laughs> I'm tip of 10 on my free throws You ain't wanna ball cause you too slow Spitting raw on the track while I'm sitting low Don't you know I take you anywhere that you wanna go Girl, you perfect, yeah, I love it how you on my team Ghost riding in the Phantom in my future dreams Slow motion, feeling like I'm sipping lean